Last but not least, we have CEO of American Battery Technology Company. That's Ryan Melsert uh, over there on the screen. Ryan, thanks for being here. Thanks for being patient. I know your company's working on a new technology to produce battery grade lithium hydroxide. Um, to the president's point earlier, you know, most people probably don't know what that means, but maybe you can describe for us what that means and what the technology could unlock for electric vehicle battery production in the US. Yes, of course, thank you for having us. Uh, the way that lithium is made today globally really comes from one of two different pathways. So lithium is held in hard rock ores, which are mostly located in West Australia. And they're also located in, in brines and aqueous solutions, mostly in South America. And those are very proven and conventional legacy type processes of how lithium is made and manufactured today. Like was just mentioned, unfortunately, the, the U.S. is almost a non-player in the lithium game. Less than 1% of all lithium products made globally are made within the U.S. And part of that is because we don't have large amounts of those conventional types of resources. So instead of trying to follow the footprint of what other companies are doing, we looked at different types of lithium deposits. So within central Nevada, there is a type of deposit that contains very large amounts of lithium that's called a sedimentary claystone deposit. But to date, nobody has ever been able to extract lithium from it in an economically competitive fashion. So over the past few years, we've been working to develop a ground up new type of process that can make this type of battery grade lithium hydroxide from this new type of abundant domestic US resource. About two years ago, we won a different Department of Energy grant at the R&D level to really prove out this technology. And now through this next set of funds, we're building our first commercial scale lithium refinery in central Nevada that will really expand the types of resource base the US has access to and will help get the US back in the game of providing domestic battery materials. Let me ask you a question. Uh, tell us about why you're confident in the uh, outlook for U.S. battery, the U.S. battery market. Why? Why are you confident? Because you're inve we're, we're investing a lot in you, but you're also investing in a hell of a lot. We definitely are, and we appreciate your investment and your confidence in us. I would say that over the past five to ten years, there have been large amounts of multi-billion dollar electric vehicle factories made in the U.S., large amounts of multi-billion dollar electric battery facilities formed in the U.S. But if you go one step upstream of that, almost 100 percent of the materials that those facilities source come from outside the U.S. So those vehicle and cell factories, if there are natural supply chain disruptions, if there are political disruptions, all those multi-billion dollar factories become starved of feed and really cannot produce anything that they're trying to make. So it makes the U.S. and the U.S. industry very vulnerable to be that reliant on outside materials. So the built-in demand is already there in the U.S. We have great relationships with the cell manufacturers and the vehicle manufacturers who are really hungry to buy these materials from U.S.-based resources. And up until now, it really has been a need for much greater innovation to put the effort in, to really go for the first of kind system development and the willingness to take risk, to bring a new type of resource to market. And I think that's always been one of America's strengths to really take that risk and build these first of kind systems. And again, like I said, we're, we're happy that you and the country are taking this risk with us. Well, we're happy you're doing it and happy for your innovation.